Hey, it's Simoy Yahya from VR Division. Today, we're going to learn how to make a video material that we can play inside of our Unreal Engine 5 projects. This video material we can use to play on monitors, on TV, on our user interface, anywhere. To get started, we need to press Ctrl Space. We need to go to the Content folder, right-click, create a new folder, and name this folder Movies. Right-click this folder, Show in Explorer, and here we need to paste our MB4 files. So I have two files now. Alright, so let's open movies. Here we don't see anything yet. That's because we need to create our own assets, our media assets to be specific. We need to define our file media source, then create a media player and media player will allow us to create a media texture. So I'm gonna start with the file media source. I'm gonna click enter. I can remove new from here. So I'm gonna press F2. I'm gonna open this media source and I'm going to select the video asset. And I have a, an asset here from a website called Pixels. And in this website, you can find videos. They are free to use. You can type anything and find videos. So I imported that. So I'm going to create a media player now. I'm going to right click, go to media and select media player. And here it will ask me if we want to create a media texture asset as a video output. So let's click yes. Thank you, Unreal. Click OK. Let's get rid of the new, so I'm gonna delete this. It will also create a media texture for us. So I'm gonna select all of these guys, press Shift and then select the three of them, press Ctrl S to save them. And now, if we open our media player, here we will see the TV asset we chose earlier. And if we try to play it, it will not play. You will hear only sound. That's because in Unreal Engine 5, we need to enable Electra Media Player. Electra Media Player is a media player plugin for Unreal Engine. It's designed for both live streams and videos on demand. With this plugin, you can stream live performances and medias into your Unreal project by providing the link to the source. In addition to streaming, it also supports MB4 progressive download and local playback of MB4 files. It works almost on all platforms. So the maximum playable video resolution and frame rate depends on the platform. All right, so let's go to edit plugins. Then here search for Electra and we will find Electra player. If we enable this, it will enable these three guys for us. So let's click restart. Hello, OBS. Shout out to Ratchmat, Koji, Marcelo, Andreessen and Zoe for subscribing and to all of you subscribe. And now we're back and we type Electra again. That's it. All of these plugins are enabled now. So if we press Ctrl space and go to our media player and double click here, it's going to play the video for us. So I'm going to click on the media texture and drag on our television, for example. And now it's in white because we need to play the video, the media player. So now if you double click, you will see it here. So now we have a material and we can increase the intensity of that material. So now if we play the video, it looks okay, but we can add some emissiveness to this. I'm gonna press Ctrl space, find the material here, and I can give it a name. So M underscore TV. I'm gonna press M to add multiply node, S to add scalar parameter node and call this intensity. And put this as a default value on 0.5. Connect this here and connect this in the emissive color. And I will switch. I click somewhere empty for the result node and switch from default let to unlet. So we use only the emissive color. I'm gonna save. Now this is very emissive. If you want to change the emissiveness, right click create a material instance MI TV and then. Since we created scalar parameter and we call it intensity, we can change the emissiveness of our TV material. So I'm going to put it, for example, on 0.2. Click Save and open this. Looking good. Well, still bright, but still looking good. Now, I want to add another asset to my media player. How do I do that? I will right click and go to media again, create new file media source, call this tutorial. Believe it or not, this is a second tutorial inside a tutorial. So I'm gonna select the file path and I will click on hide and unhide. Click save and let's play that tutorial. If you found this tutorial useful, leave a like, subscribe. If you found the next tutorial useful, why not share this video? Let's open the media player and open the tutorial.
Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set some very very important shortcuts and these shortcuts are about hiding and unhiding objects. If you are used to work in any 3D tool like 3D Max, Blender, Maya, whatever, you are used to isolate objects and usually in uh, Unreal by default, if you right click, we go to visibility, we have show only selected and you can isolate this to work on it or any other actors. And if you press Ctrl H, you will unisolate everything. Now to set a shortcut for uh, isolating stuff, so show, show only selected, I'm gonna set to H. So to do that, I'm gonna go to edit, editor preferences, and then search here for show only selected. And I'm going to set this to H. It will override the previous shortcut. That's okay, because honestly, this is my uh, personal preference. I love pressing H. To isolate stuff now the other shortcut that we just overrated we go to visibility hide selected I'm going to set this to shift H so search for hide selected shift H this is another shortcut this has to do with something with the VR uh, overrated it's not important or it's up to you now H to isolate Control H to unhide everything shift H to hide stuff and Look at this, Lumen is amazing, right? I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. It helps us a lot. And I want to thank you so much for helping us reach 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support. Let me know what tutorials you want to see in the future. And I look forward to see you very soon. This was Yahya from VR Division. Cheers, take care and drink coffee.